What's the deal, baby? Yeah, I know this is the big boss out, boss dog, K Po through the door. He just touched this box. So, uh, we're talking about Terrence Crawford today. But um, it's, all, it's a statement that Tim Bradley made. Uh, Tim Bradley was interviewed, I think, either by Fight Hype or Fight Hub or one of them YouTube channels. Um, and uh, he talked about because Terrence Crawford was the first to stop Sean Porter that he believes that Terrence Crawford will stop Errol Spence. Um, so we're going to talk about that statement. We're going to talk about whether I agree or disagree with uh, Tim Bradley and uh, really break down that fight. You know what I mean? Because I've done it before, but we'll do it again. Uh, so... We're going to start by the beginning. For starters, I disagree with Tim Bradley. Um, I don't think that L. Spence will get stopped by Terrence Crawford. If anything, I think Terrence Crawford, if he beats L. Spence, is going to be a bad decision. That's the only thing I see. I don't see him knocking out L. Spence. You know what I mean? L. Spence is a different type of fighter. He's not Sean Porter. And there's no disrespect to Sean Porter. Sean Porter's tough. You know what I mean? But Sean Porter doesn't stay focused the whole fight. He has like mental lapses, you know what I mean? And what I mean by that is, you know, if he can't overwhelm you with his awkwardness and you're able to stay the course, you know, he won't, he'll have a mental lapse and you'll be able to land a shot. Just like Bill Smith did, just like Terrence Crawford did. He got hurt again, uh, I think multiple times against Keith Thurman when he fought uh, Keith Thurman. So it's just one of those things, man, where Sean Porter is great. We're not we're not taking nothing from him, but at times in fights he has mental lapses where he loses focus for some reason. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if because he get tired or, or what. You know what I mean? But I, I don't know. I I don't understand it. But you know, because against Terrence Crawford, I had him up. I had him up by one round. Like I can say five four, and then uh, there actually is. A video out. Uh, there's a, a boxing channel that actually showed that video. Shout out to that boxing channel. Uh, but they were in the corner, and I think it was going into the 10th round, and they told Bud, hey, they have him up. And he was like, nah, I'm up. And they was like, nah, Sean Porter's up. And he was like, he's up? They said, yeah. And then you hear Bud Coach say, hey, focus on me, focus on me. And Bud just locked in and then went in there and, and, you know, did what he need to do to get the victory. You know what I mean? So that shows, you know, the dog that Terrence Crawford has in him. But like I said, he was losing that fight against Sean Porter. He would have lost if he didn't knock out Sean Porter. That's just my, my opinion. Um, now, I, uh, to go back into... You know, breaking down that L. Spence and Terrence Crawford fight. Like I said, L. Spence is not Sean Porter. L. Spence is a complete fighter. He's he's not elusive, but he knows how to do just enough to get uh, get away from punches and be able to, you know, come back. And what I mean by that is he uses his feet very well. Uh, uses that jab to set up a lot of things. I um, mean, he's a, like I said, he's an excellent fighter. You know what I mean? L. Spence does a lot of things good. That's just what it is. Like, he does... He don't do nothing flashy. And like I say, people who watch boxing or who have competed in boxing know what I'm talking about. This dude... Or who coach boxing. This dude does a lot of things well. He has great balance. Great balance. Works the jab. Keeps his hands high. You know what I mean? Uh... He can box, can parry punches, can counter, you know what I mean? Can throw a lot of punches. And is a guy that has power that can break you down. He doesn't have one punch knockout power. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to elaborate on the, the concept of power, okay? For example, myself, I'm a power puncher. But I don't have one punch knockout power where I hit you and you fold. I have that power where... You can't keep getting hit by that by that same punch, or you know what I'm saying? You you gonna you gonna get stopped, or 
I have that power that makes you reset. You know what I mean? That's the type of power L. Spence has. Where he consistently hits you. Strong jab. You know what I'm saying? Strong jab. Strong two. Body shots. And he not only hitting your body. I'm talking about the stomach. He hitting your arms. He hitting your shoulders. You be bruised up after you fight L. Spence. You're never, you're not the same fighter. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. L. Spence, when you fight L. Spence, you're going you to feel it. And as I break down that fight and I look at what Terrence Crawford's weaknesses were, Terrence Crawford did not do, I mean, I'm not going to say he didn't do well. He was a little frustrated. He couldn't get in a rhythm against Sean Porter. He was he was landing some punches. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that he he wasn't he was having a horrible performance because he wasn't. He was losing rounds, you know what I mean? But he looked a little frustrated. He couldn't figure out Sean Porter. That whole statement about him saying oh, I had Sean Porter figured out for round one, that's a lie. Because he looked frustrated. He was trying to find a rhythm. He was trying different things, different movements to try to, you know, uh find an opening when as it pertains to Sean Porter. <laughs> Against Errol, it's just constant calculated, huh, constant calculated pressure. You see what I'm saying? Errol Spence gonna keep that jab in your face. He gonna keep that jab in your face to keep to get you to react to something, and then he going to that body. But it's calculated. It's not reckless pressure. It's not like he just jumping in. He not lunging in nothing. He working behind the jab. He working behind his punches. If that makes sense. Now, don't get it twisted. He not going to get in a steamroll, Terrence Crawford. That's not what I'm saying. See, a lot of y'all said, oh, Terrence Crawford going to get in a steamroll L. I don't see that happening. What I do see happening is it's going to be a close competitive fight. L. Spence going to catch Terrence. He's going to set something up. And he's going to catch Terrence Crawford with a punch and he's going to hurry Terrence. And then Terrence going to get mad. And he gonna lock in. He gonna get mad. He gonna lock in. He gonna be like, "I'm that dude. I'm coming for you, Earl." He gonna try to return the favor, and Earl gonna catch him again, and then Earl gonna stop him. That's what I see. That's what I see happening. And I think Earl will stop Terrence Crawford in between the tenth and the twelfth round. That's what I see. Now, like I say, in order for Terrence Crawford to beat Earl Spence, he has to have a performance like he did against Victor Postal. I'm not saying that L. Spitz is Victor Postal because L. Spitz is way better than Victor Postal. But what I'm saying is he got an outbox arrow. The only way I see Terrence Crawford winning that fight is by a decision. That's it. He's not knocking out L. Spitz. L. Spitz coming in shape. L. Spitz, I mean, even when L. Spitz was having those uh, fat camps, you didn't see him get tired. You know what I'm saying? Well, he spent most of his camps losing weight. You didn't see him get tired. But the new focus and determined L. Spence, man, I, like I said, I don't see Bud stopping him. I see Bud, if he wins against Errol, it's going to be by decision. That's definitely a 50-50 fight. You know, it's a big fight. I hope that fight gets made next year. I don't know where Bud gonna sign that. Hopefully he don't resign back with top rank. But I tell you this, if Bud resign with top rank, he ain't trying to fight no killers, bro. I don't care what nobody say. If Bud ain't, if Bud signs with top rank, he's not trying to fight no killers. If he resigns with them, he ain't trying to fight nobody. Because he even said it post press conference, Bob M, you couldn't give me the air spins fight. So it makes you think, uh, I'm gonna work. You gonna be able to make the fight when I'm not on your network. You see what I'm saying? So it's stuff like that that you have to look at and be like, hmm, how is this going to work? You see what I'm saying? How is this going to, how, you know, it's not going to work. So what Bud need to do is either, I think he said he going to sound, it looked like he going to sound, I'm hearing rumors, he's going to sound with MTK. I mean, that's cool. But I think Bud should remain a free agent. So that way he could do what he want. If he want to fight, you know, if he want to go for a money fight and fight Josh Taylor in the UK, he could do that, you know, at a catchweight, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If he want to 
which I think if he talking about he wouldn't become undisputed, he shouldn't be looking at no Josh Taylor. That's just my opinion. I feel like he needs to go fight Bill Spence and then fight Ugas. And that's it. He don't need to go 54 because them dudes at 54 ain't nothing to play with. If Terrence Crawford go to 54, he going to have some problems. Because you got guys up there who got power, who can box. You got Tony Harrison, who's a problem. Tony Harrison can fight, bro. You know what I'm saying? At 54. And then you got Jamel Charlo, who, <laughs> who got dynamite in both his hands. We don't want to see Terrence Crawford get stretched like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I think he just needs to stay the course. If he beats Arrow, he gets those two belts, then fight Ugas. You know what I mean? And both of those fights are 50-50 fights. But, like I said, I think Errol Spears is going to stop Terrence Crawford. That's what I think. That's what I believe. Um, it, it's just, like I said, man, I just see that fight. I just see that fight like him against Errol as a big money fight, a big fight, good for the welterweight division, good for boxing. But I just see Errol beating Terrence Crawford. I think Errol Spitz is bigger, but it's, it's not even about bigger. I just think that Errol Spitz has what it takes to beat Terrence Crawford. I think he has uh, a lot of his arsenal. He's very technically sound. You know what I mean? L Spitz is a focused fighter. He doesn't, like, get off his game plan much. You know what I mean? You see Bud, sometimes he get emotional. And let me tell you, as a fighter in boxing, you can't allow your emotions to get involved because that's where you leave yourself open to get shots. Or you abandon the game plan and you start getting hands put in. Look at Sean Porter. Sean Porter said he got frustrated and look what happened to him. You see what I'm saying? You cannot allow your emotions to get involved in boxing. You got to stay the course. Whatever the game plan is, stay the course. You know what I mean? Keep them emotions out of it. Stay locked in. Stay focused. Because, And that's what I think Terrence Crawford going to do against Errol. I think he going to get his emotions involved because he like, damn. You know, this dude think he tougher than me. You know what I mean? I'm going to show him. And it's, 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 and that's when Errol Spence is going to get him out of there. I don't think Errol Spence knocks him out like sleeps Terrence Crawford. I think it's going to be like a TKO type of thing. You know what I mean? Because Errol Spence, his game plan is simple. I'm going to break you down over the course of the fight. I'm going to break you down. I'm going to go to your body. I'm going to hit your arms. I'm going to hit your shoulder. You know what I mean? He just break. He just breaks you down, bro. You know what I mean? After you fight El Spence, it's, it's it's different. Nah, I'm not. You know, but like I say, the only way Bud wins this fight is by decision. That's what I see. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, do can Bud knock out El Spence? You know, I don't see it happening. You know, but we'll see. Y'all let me know, man. Big Boss Gun.